Now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Caesar Corneo, weather rate certified 10 years in a row. Okay, Caesar. speaking of on track, uh, you are tracking the weather. You said maybe some rain in the forecast or rain, precipitation, <laughs> snow. What's it looking like? Nick, well, we're starting to look like we have the possibility of some wet weather. But before all of that, we have a little bit of warmth. And here looking from Chris Williams' video of Provo Canyon, Bridalville starting to have a little bit of that melting going on thanks to those above average temperatures that we've been seeing. It's been pretty warm out there, but as we continue with this hazy weekend yet again, we do see that we have some warming temperatures for a little bit. Winds start to pick up ahead of that next system. And finally, we're starting to see the signs of some wet weather making its way into the beehive state. Right now, continue to see plenty of clear skies. Look at that. Not expecting to see a cloud in sight around the Wasatch Front. You can see a little bit of haze hanging over top of the Salt Lake Valley. And that's just thanks to this high pressure system that continues to sit over top a lot of the west. So while we're a little bit above average and just seeing plenty of clear skies over in Southern California, there's a heat advisory already in place for parts of Los Angeles and San Diego in February. That's a little out of the average, but you know what? Right now, temperatures are starting to get closer towards average here for Salt Lake City at 49, 46 in Provo, seeing some 50s and 60s in southern Utah. Tomorrow, we're expecting to see this inversion hang around, so poor air quality into the moderate category will be expected. And when we look at future casts, this high pressure system will continue to sit over top of us until Sunday afternoon. That starts to move on out with this next incoming system. Look at that cold front making its way in overnight, starting to see some wet weather for some of the higher elevations. We'll get some sprinklings of light precipitation for parts of the northern valleys so we can expect to see some accumulation and then even seeing a little bit of some active weather behind. What we need, especially as we continue to battle best way to really continue going into February, but you know what? Any little bit helps. Looking at the regional forecast for tonight and tomorrow, we have temperatures hanging around that freezing mark and then tomorrow above average once again with temperatures in the 50s and 60s for many areas. One area that will see the 60s and even close to the 70s is St. George for the next few days can see the possibility of some showers for parts of Tuesday, mostly rain given how warm we're still going to be during that week and the Wasatch Front. We'll see hazy skies continue. Starts to really mix out with the winds moving in by Monday, a chance of snow by Tuesday and lingering into parts of Wednesday. Wednesday morning.